In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the SQL console in IntelliJ. IntelliJ has a database tool window that we can open either by clicking on this icon in the top right corner of the window, or by going to the view menu, tool windows, database. And it's here in the top right corner. If you haven't already set up a data source, then you'll need to do that now by clicking on the plus symbol, selecting MySQL as the data source, and then enter the name, the user, and the database for your connection. Test the connection, and if everything's OK, then you can click OK. And then you can start exploring the database by looking in here. And you'll see in this example that we've got a vowel count table and we can open an SQL console window for this data source. When you create the data source, the console window will open automatically. Otherwise, you can locate an existing data source by going to the Scratches and Consoles, Expand Database Consoles, and there it is. Double click, double click, and there it is. Now you can start typing anything that is a valid SQL command. Before you run it, you need to make sure the database is started. So from the ZAMP control panel, start MySQL. There's the port number, so it's all up and running. So we can come back here and now run. And there is the result of executing that table. And if we wanted to, we could see how the help menu is popping up. That is targeted to the MySQL dialect. So let's go with vowel equals E and then run it again. Watch the result. And there we go. So we can have real time interaction with the database all from IntelliJ.